Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the making of my newest Lego skyscraper. And the one I am, I guess, the most proud of, I don't know. It's the tallest Lego skyscraper I've ever, ever made. I, that tallest Lego skyscraper I've ever made that has height and height and width proportions that are pretty realistic and looks slightly realistic, I guess. I mean, I don't have that many matching pieces. As I get taller, the colors get different because um, I run out of like certain types of pieces, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so we have just... You know, a bunch of this. Um, I'm just going to do like a 360 of this building. Um, give you a tour of what I made. So it's kind of funny because... Um, so this building is was originally... Well, the idea was that I, I wanted to make like a, a train station in one of my skyscrapers. So I don't continue the track because the elevation is... A, a little bit uneven when it's eight bricks high i don't want to really match that so i didn't really make anything going around but let's say if i were to make a city it would probably be something like you know this loop would go around and then i would have buildings in the middle and buildings on the outside and so on but the middle would be like i don't know going on like a tangent about what my big city plans would be but anyway so we have um, yeah, this train station here. It's a platform. Now, the, the train set I got, which I showed you in a different video I made, well, it had one of these uh, 1x4x3 glass pieces, transparent, um, which actually had like a subway map train line embedded into it. It's not a sticker. It's uh, printed like this. Um, it shows the times for the trains and a map, if you can see that. There's like a map, a bunch of dots here. Um, so it was perfect for a train station, obviously, because um, this is a train map. Um, this piece is probably one of the most useful pieces, detail pieces I have. Um, so I implemented that there. Um, and then, you see, the only part I don't really like about this building is I think I made this door really stupidly. Like, it's a tiny door for such a large skyscraper. And, um, oh, there's a Lego guy stuck in there. Lego minifigure. Uh, I'm going to take him out later. Now I'm just losing him more. Okay, take him out later. Anyway, I don't like this door. It's actually in a probably pretty stupid place. Um, right under the train tracks. Uh, but when I, I when I was making this, I had to make the doors, the entrance symmetrical. I could, probably should have made it on the other side. Um, it would have been probably much better and look much more realistic for such a large skyscraper. It would just be under the tracks at this level. And if it were under the tracks, the tracks would be a little higher. Um, so that's like the only uh, downside about this building, in my opinion. Um but mostly, I think it's pretty good. I mean, inside, it looks like there's not that much space. There is a lot of space. It's just a, this platform here for the train. As you can see, there is actually pretty much. It's just I made it hollow, so, you know. Um, that's the thing. Although, in most cases, if a building had such a big train station implemented into it, it would take up one of the entire floors, and there would be little room for anything else. So... That's basically that for that. Uh, I just said that in like three times in a sentence. <laughs> um, so this platform here, uh, I didn't get inspiration from anything, you know, standard platform. Some people might think I got inspiration for stuff. I know I should have covered this. Um, I could still probably cover it. I don't know, though. I have to decide. What do you guys think? Um probably will look much better if I cover it. Um, I think this platform, though, is pretty good. Uh, implement considering, like, the implementation of space and pieces I have is pretty good. Um, and then, so this is the second floor. As you can see, the lobby is actually that. 
that's the lobby, second floor, which takes up that much. Um, and then after that, the entire inside is obviously hollow because, like, I don't have enough pieces for interior, and that would be expensive anyway. Um, and so, you know, hollow. But I think the, my one of my favorite parts is the thing I have above the platform and the train track, which is uh, this little thing. I don't know what I found. I found it funny, like... The, my original goal for the train line was for it to go through the building and not, like, go on the outside necessarily. So in order to capture going through the building, I had to pr I had to make this, like, little area that would go over the track to make it look, quote-unquote, cooler, right? So that's what I did. <laughs> um, yeah, and it kind of just sticks out. But luckily, it gave me a good porch which should be needed in this type of building. And so this makes up the third floor. Um, then obviously I don't have a ceilings because it's hollow in here. Ceilings would also be very expensive. You wouldn't notice it as much if I actually had window plates and these red holder things. But we got the third floor with this type of indoor platform. We got the fourth floor here. That's the fourth floor. Then the fifth floor then the sixth floor, and then you start realizing that I'm running out of pieces because it's orange there, and, you know, the windows are not like that. Uh, so where was I? Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. I just used two more red frames, as you can maybe see in the back. You can slightly see the outline. Uh, I had 32, and here there's about 10 being used per floor, so I could make three floors out of those. So we have that floor, and then we have... a. Uh, a floor with no windows. A lot of buildings have these somewhere in the middle. Usually when you end off kind of at a, a set, when you when you start a new setback and a lot of sky, t very tall skyscrapers, you have the highest floor of that given with, um, if you understand what I'm saying, with no windows because it's kind of like a unoccupied floor. Um, the elevator would usually just go through there. It can be occupied, but it has a lot of the mechanics of the building, you know, water towers and such systems. Um, then we have kind of this floor I designed, which I could have made the top, but I just wanted to make a gigantic building that would be really tall as well. I wanted to make it over 100 bricks high, so I didn't end it off here. And I also wanted to use these... Uh, curved uh, window pieces and bricks so I went all the way up um, I'm sitting down right now and like my arm is not reaching as you can see uh, um, so this video is getting long but it's okay uh, <laughs> um, so I have this floor uh, it's kind of, I don't know what it is it's like a semi penthouse it looks kind of luxury uh, the idea was if it were the top you know, it would look luxurious because a lot of the Art Deco buildings have like these arch patterns and the arch may not be the same color necessarily, but it does give somewhat of an Art Deco approach. <clears throat> Maybe even, yeah, Art Deco. Uh, just not in the coloring, but overall design. And then we have kind of the two, th two continuous floors after this. Um, it's like the building was made up to here in like the 1920s, let's say. And then in the 2000s, they just decided to make that part. That's what it looks like. <laughs> everyone just got, everyone just needed to use, they needed space for more residents. So they just added two floors onto a building. That's what this looks like. So now we have this floor. I use curved slopes. I also made it go, the setback here is much larger because, um, I was running out of pieces and I wanted to keep some type of symmetry. So I did that. But then I realized I had a lot of brown brick. So I did that. And so now I shall stand up and you shall see this top that I made. It was so cool. Um, I kind of made it up to here and then I left the building for like two days. Um, and then I, I needed to really cover up the top. So I lazily just found pre-made columns I had made for a different skyscraper I had made earlier. Um, added one of these like 
uh, three by six by three by six curved pieces. And as you can see from the back, it, it's curved. Um, and then I added antennas, like two columns. Yeah, that's that, that was a very lazy part. Although it looks really good with the building, so I'm not too mad about it. But um, yeah, this this is kind of now that my new tallest building. Um, so get one good look at it. Um, I'm not going to talk too much, but here we go. Um, but yeah, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, make sure to comment what you think about this building. And I will see you in the next video. Um, bye.